And here we have it, folks. This is the LED fixture on the 185 reef tank installed. I uh, hooked up the timers. Everything look everything below down here looks like a rat's nest right now. As you can see, I mean they got drivers all over the place and wires hanging all over the place. But uh, I'm gonna fix that. I just need to get a uh, 90 degree drill so I can reach underneath there to mount those behind the tank. Um, they had that 18 volt and it's it's too it's too long to fit behind that little foot of uh, working space I have behind the tank. But uh, yeah, I mean this thing's up and running and it's definitely looking good. I uh, I have all of these um, drivers. Now this here I marked with the blue. This is the the AC adapter and I can get my volts out of it. If I want it to be less blue, I just dial it down. More blue, dial it up. Not going past nine. And then same thing with this one. It's the white. I marked it with the white and I can have it any way I want. Uh, here are the timers. Uh, LW means left side white and then left side blue and right side blue, right side white. I, uh, I only have them going for five hours right now just because I want to see what kind of algae I get going out of it. But uh, yeah, it looks like a mess. I apologize. And currently what you are looking at right now does not have those uh, high intensity XPGs on right now. That is just like a high noon blast. I'll run for like three hours once the uh, system is up and running. So keep watch for that. I'll make another video of that. But uh, if I open up the hood, there you have it. I also bought a uh, aluminum L channel to mount them two together and to fit my span across the tank. So that's how that's gonna work. You just get some self-tapping screws drill through it uh, once and get some fatter self-tapping screws and drill through the L channel and the heat sink and you are good to go and I just like you can see here I trained all the wires with uh, some zip ties to go down the back down the back and then I'll doctor it all up once I have a uh, chance to get underneath there with that 90 degree drill bit so I guess uh, I still get a ton of micro bubbles out of this. Uh, the, the sump came with a filter sock, only one, and I, I didn't know that you had to change these out, you know, every two days or whenever it looks dirty. So I had bought three more, and uh, I'll just change them out, I guess, as they get dirty. But uh, I mean, this thing is so bubbly, I get a whole bunch of bubbles on top of my first chamber and then all the slime or the you know the brown looking stuff hangs along the glass so I don't know how to dial this in I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure I'm hoping someone can come on out and help me out with that but uh, you know and what else what else oh I got to uh, I have to install these fans. These are just some standard computer fans, 12 volt fans, that uh, were part of the kit. I have not hooked them up yet, but um, I have this fan running up here, so that's blowing on top of the heat sinks, and it's it's good enough for I think five hours or you know the limit, limited time that's left on the timers for this thing to stay on, but. Uh, I will be putting these in, however I do have to extend, I have to extend how long this cord is to get down into the, the, uh, the outlets underneath the tank. So I'll just put one, like if the heat sink's 24 inches long, I'm going to put one here, and one there, and then they'll blow down on the heat sink and you'll be good to go. These uh, fans have a red and black wire to them and the red 
goes to the white stripe on the 12 volt plug-in and then the black goes to black. If you uh, mix it up, do it wrong, they just won't turn on. Unplug it right away and do it the right way. So that's how you want to do your heat sinks. But again, I gotta I gotta extend this length of cord because it's not long enough. So uh, I guess that that will conclude the LED fixtures. Um, if you have questions on how to do something, I'll, I can answer them the best I can. Um, or you can email Bill and he will be a, a lot better, he'll have a lot better answers than I will. He's been doing it longer than me. I just learned basically over the weekend and, and, and from asking him and, from, and uh, stuff like that. So, um, and if you have questions, again, give me, ask me. Don't be afraid to ask me. But uh, this thing's looking pretty good. The rock work's looking pretty good. And uh, now I just gotta let this thing cycle, get doors on this. I keep saying that, and I know, but uh, my buddy who's helping me with the doors, um, he's got all the, the bits and everything else like that, but um, he'll come out and help me with that. And uh, I'll get a fan blowing down on the sump here, and we should be good to go. And then I'll just have to let it cycle and um, put some uh, fish and corals in there. So, thanks a lot.